You're watching Fox in the Morning with the team that knows San Diego. This morning we're talking about plastic surgery and cosmetic surgery and how there is now a new level of protection for anyone who may be considering either procedure. Joining me this morning is uh, Dr. Mitchell Goldman. Actually, there's a difference between plastic surgery and cosmetic surgery. And what is that difference? Well, plastic surgery are surgeons that are trained not only to do a few, a few cosmetic surgeries, but also to do reconstructive surgery, hand surgery, burn surgery. Cosmetic surgeons are basically trained only to do cosmetic surgery. And previous to this, there, well, tell me about the new, uh, the new change in... Um... You know, what's interesting is almost any doctor with an MD or a DO after their name can do whatever they want. So right now we have lots of medical spas and lots of physicians that are doing cosmetic procedures that could be obstetricians, they could be gynecologists, proctologists that have no business doing cosmetic procedures like breast augmentations or facial procedures because they don't have the training. So now the state of California has finally recognized the American Board of Cosmetic Surgery as being a certification where a, the physicians that are certified by the board are certified to perform cosmetic surgery. And also, because of that, there is a list of those doctors available to consumers who are looking, okay, well, I want to do liposuction. Is this doctor qualified? And you can go to that master list and find, oh, no, well, this doctor can do ear surgery, but, you know, can't do the procedure that I'm interested in. Exactly. Plastic surgeons still are good surgeons. I'm not, I, we don't want to knock them, but now we have cosmetic surgeons that are more specifically trained in various aspects of cosmetic surgery. And so when you go to your physician and you want a cosmetic procedure, whether it's Botox or a facial surgery or breast augmentation or liposuction, make sure that that physician is certified by the American Board of Cosmetic Surgery or the American Board of Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery. It must be nice to finally be recognized. It is. It was a 10-year process to go through various legal uh, r r things and, and to get the board to finally recognize that cosmetic surgeons are fully trained, but now they are. Of course, it's going to be under appeal, but still it gives the consumer and our viewing public one more avenue to make sure that they're getting the best possible me medical care. Have you, in your history in the business, uh, seen many mishaps by doctors who aren't qualified to do the procedures you know, that they do? It, it, yes, unfortunately. Just because a doctor has a white coat and an MD after their name doesn't mean that they, they're really expert at what they do. And, uh, you know, let's, let's be real. Doctors really want to take care of their patients, but there are some people out there that are more concerned maybe about making some money. And so they're doing some Botox on the side or some other cosmetic procedures. And unfortunately, we do see complications. Now, they're not fortunately incredibly severe, but if you spend good money to have something done to your face, you don't want to end up with a droopy eyebrow mm -hmm. or with some other defect that's going to take months or years of corrective surgery to, to correct. It's worth it to do a little investigative, you know, checking on your own and make sure that you are going to the right person for the procedure that you're looking Always. for. Always. You know, it's just like if you take your car to a mechanic and let's say your transmission's out, you don't take it to a mechanic that only fixes windshield wipers. You take it to a transmission uh, per expert. So just like you would take your car to an expert, you need to take your body to an expert as well. Absolutely. Well, some great news for consumers. Dr. Mitchell Goldman, thank you so much for being here. And of course, anyone who would like more information can go to fox6.com and we'll get you hooked up there.